सिंपल एंड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड हाउ टू बिकम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्टिफाइड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इंजीनियर कामेगा All right, let's get into the video. So today I'm going to talk about a very interesting program that's launched by Microsoft. It's actually a certification that is named as Microsoft Certified Azure AI Engineer Associate. If you do this certification, uh, you're probably recognized as you know how to work on artificial intelligence, cognitive services, machine learning tools, and uh, platforms. More specifically, only for Microsoft technologies. to get into this certification i would highly suggest you that if you have a basic knowledge of machine learning only then you should be going for this certification because it's a quite of advanced level certification which should be done if you are a student maybe a third year or a final year student or if you are a developer working as a full time now i'll for whatever things i talk about i'll give in the link in the description so that you can go and actually uh, have a look at it so This uh, certification is actually involves a lot of natural language processing, speech, computer vision, uh, robots, and agents that you can build on the Microsoft technologies, and it proves that you have certain knowledge. Now, to get started with this certification, uh, Microsoft also provides you a roadmap or the entire uh, path through that you should be completing in and having a knowledge before you sit into these exams. I'll be covering everything about the pricing, how to give the exams, what are the courses to do. Just stay tuned till the end of the video. So, uh, if you want to clear this exam, I will divide the training part into three sections. The first section is to learn the fundamentals, or more specifically, the fundamentals of Azure. And if you're learning the uh, fundamentals, you should learn about principles of operating system, create an Azure account, Azure data storage options, Azure networking options. predict cost and optimize speeding of for azure now there's an entire course for this i'll give the link in the description so that you can go and uh, sign it up and start learning it also all the resources that i'm going to tell you now is entirely free of cost so the first step is to learn azure machine azure fundamentals the second step is to learn the introduction to ai on azure so these are all the courses that is available on microsoft learn the way and the hierarchy i'm telling you you should be learning in the same way the first one is azure fundamental the second one is introduction to ai on azure this would usually cover the azure artificial intelligence strategy and solutions this course will give you a basic knowledge and the uh, familiarity with the entire ecosystem of azure ai solutions after you done that the third course that you should do is publish a machine learning experiment Now this is actually about Azure Machine Learning Studio on how you can create a account, how you can work with the data sets over there, work with different algorithms. So this course is almost like one hour and six minutes, and more specifically only for Azure Machine Learning Studio. The third one, I, I should say, the fourth one is from now I can divide into four point one, four point two, and four point three. The first one is working process and translate speech with Azure Cognitive Speech Services. The 4.2 is process and classify images with Azure Cognitive Services, and the 4.3 will be evaluate text with Azure Cognitive Language and Services. So this fourth course uh, is actually working with the Microsoft Cognitive Services that covers your speech, your images, and your text. It is very very important. Also. If you know how to work on uh, these cognitive services, I would also suggest you to go back and learn how to all these services are done from the scratch. I mean, it's totally fine to use APIs and all that stuff of Microsoft, but uh, a high good suggestion that you must also know on how you can create your custom own models for all these text images and uh, speeches. The fifth one I would say is the evaluate text with Azure Cognitive Language and Services. This would actually cover your Lewis architecture and text analytics API and the classification of Azure Content Moderator. It's kind of high-end type of course. Uh, probably it is of two hours and thirty minutes that have three modules. Will not take you much long to cover, but it is quite an important module to learn. The last one is actually about uh, creating bots. The course name is Create Intelligent Bots with the Azure Bot Services. 
so this will tell you how you can create a chatbot on azure bot services and the all stuff related to it so all these courses that i've told you you must complete these courses before you sit into this azure uh, microsoft ai engineer exam have a basic knowledge of it go through the theory practice very thoroughly because all these exams are quite hands on now a bit details about this exam now to get started with this exam they would say an optional prerequisite is you must have a certification on azure fundamentals now it's not mandatory but it if you have it it will be quite beneficial for you now how do you prepare it there are multiple ways the first one that's i told you that you can go to this uh, cover these courses and then you can go into the exams the other one is instructor led that is you can also go with paid training or in person training personalized or on demand training that happens online many people won't go for this instructor led training and just sign up for the free courses and do it and that even kind of works now what about the pricing <laughs> now the pricing it's uh, if i can convert if you are in indian watching this video it costs something around 165 us dollars converted to indian rupees in the year 2019 it happens to be 11457 that's quite expensive i do know also it, you get only one attempt uh, if you have filled the form you're going to sit in the exam and if you cannot clear it your 11400 is gone but as now what i did when i was signing up for the exam what i found so when you sign up for the exam the price get reduced to 4500 the price get reduced to 4500 you need to remember that right it's not 11457 it is actually 4500 if you are an indian watching this video uh, i would suggest if there's any person watching from any other country to actually first sign it up register for the course and if you clear all those steps of all those you need to create an account and do some add some formalities at the checkout you will find a different price for every country so do go and check that out now the other things to talk about is the Hmm. the course the exam would be something around for 2 hours that would include not just mcqs it will also have some match of the following and there will be also some um, thing to code like there will be problem given and you have to actually tell which is the right code in most of the cases it go it is going to be an mcq match the following and fill in the blanks it's almost like one and a half hour to 2 hours and it's almost like 40 to 45 to 60 questions depending upon uh, the exam it's not very specific that how many questions that you are going to get but uh, it ranges something on 45 to 60 now uh, there are lot many other courses also like you have an option for uh, data scientist and data engineer and all that stuff these exams are quite quite very important if you want to prove your skills i do agree that you may have knowledge better than this certification pro says that you know but if you want to prove that you have the artificial intelligence skills and you can work in a corporate certifications are very really, really necessary i know all the cost of certifications are very much but it is very much less than than your career point of view so this uh, something on 10000 11000 price is um, i believe is quite fine but you must at least practice these courses for like 3 to 4 months get in hands on experience uh develop some multiple uh, projects and then go and give the certification because it is only for one time and also if you clear the certification you don't only become a microsoft ai engineer certified but you also become a microsoft certified professional that's an extra tag that you get um uh, that that's all probably in this video may there are many many other videos also about the certifications from google cloud and aws and ib button and all i would also go and suggest you to go and just watch those out is also be necessary this video was just more specific to microsoft based ai engineer certification that's all from my side this video was very quick and very serious because the topic was very very serious right uh, that's all in this video from my side my name is stephen simon i upload videos on every monday thursday and friday thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe Oh, 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 oh,